Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video. So, welcome. Man, that actually sounds so weird. Let me restart. Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to a brand new War Dragons video. There we go. So, this video, I'm going to be talking about something that been re has been requested by so many people. I get a lot of emails, and a lot of them have actually been asking, um, you know, how can you level up very quickly in this game? I've noticed that a lot of people who watch my videos are um, lower levels or newer to the game. I Most of the time when I receive messages from newer people that I haven't seen before, I check their profile. And basically almost, I'll say like 6 times out of 10, I will see a person who is level 50 or below. And that's really cool because that's it means obviously that this game is growing, that more people are coming in and there's an influx of players that are newer to the game and are building up the community, which is very good. Um, and that is why I feel like I need to make this video. I should have made it a long time ago. I know I made a video on how to power level. And if you have not watched that video and you want to level up very quickly, it kind of goes, that video kind of talks about, like, leveling up specifically. Um, this video is how to grow in the game overall. You know, what are my top tips for newer players who come into the game, or even if you're, like, you know, level 50 or something, and you want to try to get to the higher tiers. This video is for you guys. So... My first thing, and I know a lot of people are going to be like, well, this is pay-to-play players, um, but Elite Account is, honestly, if you want to grow really quickly, this is the way to do it. This, The biggest thing is, honestly, probably the plus 75% Dragon XP per battle. It's actually insane how much of, how much of a help it is, um, and Elite Account is something I always recommend to newer players, and most people get it. Some people are like, you know, I'm actually going to be free to play. I'm not going to spend any money at all. Which is fine, and there's other ways to you know do this, but elite account is something that I would always recommend. The next thing is, I talk about it in my power level video, but keep your base short. If you're a lower level, or even to like in before level a hundred, these short bases will murder dragons. Um, seriously, when I you know had consurgence whatnot and well garner. A short base would wreck any dragon because it's like level 35 towers, and if you're you can be a level 90 with level you know 35 towers or something like that. I don't, maybe not 35. It's like 32 or something. Um, if you're like max out storage, max out builder hut, and at that level it will murder dragons easily. So having those towers on your base is so crucial, and it actually allows you to level up very quickly because as towers increase in um, level. They actually give you a lot more XP. So now, even though I'm a level 190, one building will get me one level every single time. The reason why is because these buildings give me like around, I don't know, um, like 40,000, I think, per upgrade now. So, I mean, that's like basically 21.8k is half of my XP to level up, and 40,000 is about one level. So, these higher level... Um, buildings will level you up a lot quicker, and that's really how you power level, is just keep a short base and level up these dragons really quick, not dragons, but these buildings really quickly. The one downside to that is, as you're leveling up quickly, you need good dragons, and that's an issue that I have in, um, come, in, come into contact with, which is actually why I'm, I kind of need to spend a little bit, um, because I need to get to Garnet and Emeralds ASAP. Um, and that is you don't want to fall behind in dragons because you don't want to have to ask for 20,000 XP runs every single day because you can't take out XP bases because you're such a high level that you have to attack these insane XP bases for your level. It's just not good for, you know, your team or yourself. So use breeding guides. Now I made a video on breeding guides before. It's like, it's a, like, it's a complete guide to, um, all the breeding guides that I personally know. Amoebas is probably the best for, uh, beginners. It goes from, it teaches you how to do it. Um, basically, you just follow whatever dragons it says to breed in. It's one of the better ways to do it. Red has one. Uh, if you go to the Lady Red, um, like type in Google, the Lady Red um, space breeding guide. It'll pop up. It's like the theladyred.wixsite.com slash ruleth dash breeding guides or something like that. And those are very, very useful. That's actually what I'm using personally. So yeah, use breeding guides if you're a lower level. Now, events, they're so crucial because if you think about it, at lower levels, understand guys, you are not going to be maxing out events. It just won't happen. Um, even if you grind out as hard as you can, like, 
the thing is, is that you're not going to be able to attack really, really high level bases if you are, let's say, a level, you know, 20. You can't attack bases with, a, you know, 1 million plus power, uh, defense power. So that's just not possible for you. But even doing good, just doing well, just even just well in an event will get you extra beating tokens, rubies, and especially if you're free to play. And, you know, I'm saying free to play a lot because people have been roasting me in the comments as well as emails like you only do pay to play um, videos. So this is free to play too. Just do all in events. It's it's pretty simple. Um, also, make sure that you keep up with, with your free chest. As you guys know, every single day you get one free silver chest as well as um, every 19 minutes. Sorry, every yeah, every 19 minutes you get one free bronze chest um, up to five times a day. So make sure that you collect those. It's not massive, but let's say you get lucky and get an epic drop of inner fires or breeding tokens or, you know, um, speed ups. Just anything like that is always going to help you out no matter what. So keep up with those. Next is no matter what your level is, and I've, I made this mistake and now I'm being punished for it. Make sure your storage hut is up to date <laughs> because now where I'm at is I can't level up a good amount of my dragons. Well, some of them. Uh, Shechem, for example, because my I took a break from upgrading my storage, and now I'm behind, and to do that, it's like, my storage takes two weeks every single upgrade. So, now I'm super behind, and it's taking a lot of time for me to upgrade some of these dragons. And if you're trying to level up really, really quickly, that's not something you have to, you want to have to deal with. So, make sure you keep up with your, um, storage as much as possible. Same goes with your builder's hut. Those are going to be very, very crucial. In terms of just leveling up, um, there's individual prizes, as you guys know, but also team prizes. And this next thing is, if you really are serious about leveling up, get on a good team. And this will always help you because as you get on these better... Why is it always stupid, like, bad glitch, man? Um... As you get into better, um, you know, teams that will place in higher leagues, sorry, that will place better in better leagues, you're going to get a lot more, you know, for example, egg tokens, sigils, you know, glyphs, all this stuff you're going to get a lot more of if you're on a better team. So get on better teams that win wars. Um, I know a lot of gold teams don't do wars. If you are a gold team leader, do wars. It's worth it. You get a lot of breeding tokens. I know a lot of people say, well, you know, wars aren't worth it because that's for platinum and sapphire and diamond teams. No, they get you so many breeding tokens. You might think, well, you know, 40 is not that much. If you win a good one, it's about 120. If you multiply that, let's let's say you wore a ton. You know, you can have up, technically, technically speaking, you can have, what, um, 49 wars? Technically, technically speaking, you can because bronze leagues are 50, I think, um, or something like that. So, considering that, 120, let, let, let's say it's like about, I don't know, even 40. 40 times that is like over, what, almost 2,000 breeding tokens in a day. Obviously, that's kind of like, you're not going to be able to do that very often, but when you can... Think about it that way. That's a lot of breeding tokens for lower levels. Considering how most of these dragons take like 2,000, 3,000 at max. Um, and then, you know, once you get to green, sure, it takes a little bit more. But that's if you can do that for 10 days for 2,000 breeding tokens, that's 20,000. That gives you ith right there. Uh, well, almost. I think it's like 27,000 for ith and etin. So just those small things actually really add up. And that's really what matters in terms of if you want to level up really quickly in this game get on a good team that does really well in events do well in events um and just all these little things incrementally will help you so much more and of course you know i gotta represent the pay to play buy packs guys buy gold chests that's the easiest way to level up in this game it's just buy a lot of gold chests you know what i'm saying i did a forge video a lot of people if you're free to play like to forge um speed ups now, sure, go for it. Um, if you're free to play, I would say go for healing pots, honestly, because those will be a lot, you know, more of a, it'll be a lot more useful. Because, in all honesty, getting one 12 hour speed up and a 30, 
you know, a 30 uh, hour period is, in my opinion, just not worth it, even for free to play. In my opinion, if you're gonna, you know, going free to play route, uh, use, uh, sorry, forge healing pots, and those actually add up a lot. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, leave a like down below. Let me know if this helped you. If you get, if you didn't, let me know um, and how to fix it. If you guys have any pointers, I will definitely add it to this. Um, and, you know, who's, who knows? If you did not check out my uh, facial video, hashtag face reveal, definitely do so. Apparently, I sound like a blondie, so who knows? Um, but, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.